What up peeps? Welcome to Abu Dhabi. I am here in the beautiful sunshine. This is so gorgeous and I am super excited to be here. The trip is beginning. I'm with my friend Stacia. to get a COVID test when we land. We made it, we are here. This is what the airport looks like in Abu Dhabi. We gotta stay hydrated. We keep buying, getting lots of water um, so we don't get cankles. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Look at this delicious breakfast and view. Such a delicious view. <laughs> My delicious friend. I'm so delicious. <laughs> the first stop for the day and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Kasar Al Hosan. Obviously you guys know I absolutely love palm trees. They're my favorite. They have gorgeous palm trees here in Abu Dhabi. Guys, I really can't express how happy I am and I'm so thankful Stacia came with me. <laughs> I'm thankful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god. It's like almost my birthday trip sort of because it's almost my birthday but <laughs> Found the one place we're going here first house of artisans you guys particularly have seen my travel vlogs from peru but i remember when i was in peru they were teaching us how to make the yarn that they would make the scarves with so this is really interesting for me to see because in this section they have the raw wool you can see it that's how they do it they put it on this brush and then they twine it up and they make the yarn you know what this is very similar to peru because i remember when we were there they were showing us they would have like i think there was like a bug a particular bug that was really bright red and that was the color the pigment that they use to make the red colored yarn. That's Ladyback cool. family. Wow. Well, it's and here I can see like these rocks here, indigo. These are like blue rocks that they use to make this blue yarn. This is what Stacia and I were admiring in the lobby earlier. These are like some dope Nikes that were custom made. We were about to buy them. We both wanted to buy a pair. They were like a thousand dollars, right? We're like, ah, nah. I'll, we were like, oh, I'll, how much are these? I'll just get them in America and they won't be handmade. <laughs> but look how dope they are. I was gonna get the low tops. But I don't think it's worth a thousand dollars. Do you guys think it's worth a thousand dollars? Write it in the comments. There's a little fast forward in the vlog right now because we came back here at nighttime. We were told that it's got a really unique, beautifulness to it in the evening. And that's how I wanted to share the experience with you. So we are back here at Qasar al Hosan. This is where the kings used to live and it's the oldest standing fort still in Abu Dhabi. This is funny because if this is what I think it is, it looks like the courtroom. I doubt they have jury duty like we have in America, but this reminds me of jury duty the way it's set up, except it's so extravagantly designed. Like, could you imagine having court <laughs> like this during jury duty with the crystal chandelier? But that's not what this is. This is what it is. And you can pause if you want to read. This is what it looked like back in the day. Five times a day, it's a call to prayer. And you can like hear it in all of Abu Dhabi. It's really interesting. I wish I could understand what they're saying. of this palace is equivalent to 53 football fields so it's huge the president vice president and the crown prince all have offices here and the royal family is still in here this is the 
part I was waiting to see. It's like all over Instagram. It's so pretty. Look at this. Now we are at the Founders Memorial. We're doing some of the touristy things today because it's like you come to another country and city and you have to explore and learn some of the cool stuff that it has to offer. The Founders Museum honors Sheikh Zayed who was the first president of the UAE and before that he was the ruler of the Emirates. Yes, yes, it's pretty interesting and um, they made this like memorial in honor of him and this is what it's made of. Like you can see up closely these are the, the beads but they're actually platonic solids. It's really cool because all of those little platonic pieces that hang, they make up what his face looks like. Oh, there, you can kind of see it. See his face there? Now we're outside of Emirates Palace, which is a seven-star hotel. I didn't even know that was a thing. That exists and we're gonna check it out and see what it's all about. They have this coffee place too that makes like gold coffee. I feel like this is 100% no, no, nobody ever does this. I'm walking up to the gate. I think we're supposed to have a vehicle drive us in. I'm just gonna like push the button. And then give us a Found the official entrance. I just hope we can walk in. <laughs> walk in. He's checking our keys and we're just going. What are it's very weird about this. I feel like royalty walking through here. That's how insanely perfect everything is. It just makes you feel so good. You're like, how do you get perfectly green the grass, grass in the desert? It's <laughs> so pretty. It's perfect. Like everything is perfect. Except us standing in the street about to get hit. Oh, that's the helipad. Yeah, we saw cool. so many helicopters so close. I wonder who got off. It's my next prince. Where are you? The view just doesn't stop. And look at this grass that I keep talking about. Ooh, look at that car. Love it. Her fancy desserts. That's so pretty. Oh, that looks amazing. Nuts and honey. We're enjoying this so much, I almost forgot to vlog it. Look how pretty this is. They even have like nice real silver spoons here. Wow, even the little fries are dusted with the gold. We're in this seven star hotel and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I also have like gold lips. We probably shouldn't be holding a burger like an American. I should probably cut this, shouldn't I? No. <laughs> Check out the hotel we're staying at, it's gorgeous. They're about to get dinner. Hopefully, if they're still serving. If they're still serving, I think they are. And this is where the pool is. Oh, this is so pretty. Really Everything pretty. is pretty here. Wow. This is the dinner. I got brisket tacos, pulled pulled brisket. We got little margaritas, big margaritas. And I ordered everything on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a beautiful view of Abu Dhabi City in front of us. Guys, I'm literally freaking out right now. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. My dream is coming true on Saturday. Oh my God, we are so excited. <laughs> I just got a phone call. Oh my God. I was trying so hard, like diligently, trying to email the zoo. We're going to the zoo and they have this lion experience. You can literally feed the lions. And it's like, it looks so cool. I like looked it up online. I was like, I have to do this. I can't come to Abu Dhabi and not do this. And then we got a phone call and it's happening. It's happening because it wasn't supposed to happen on that day and it's gonna happen. Yeah. I was literally like, Jen, like it's not gonna happen. Like just let it go. Like let's book a safari. I literally that second, someone called you with the confirmation that we could feed the lion. And I didn't even, I did not think it was gonna come no. in the way that that came in. I was like, how can, didn't I say, I was like, how can I make this happen? I have to make this happen. Yeah. Like, oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. And I know this is really weird to say this, but I kind of feel like my parents are somehow helping make all these dreams come true during this trip. I know it's weird, but I, I love that. I'm so all about that. You guys know I'm all about like making your dreams come true. So it's gonna happen. You're gonna so feed the lions. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not getting anywhere near you guys touching lions. More? Can I give you some more? This is a good one. Here you go. Are you ready? 